Today, we're counting down the most spectacular predator-prey interactions I've captured through my microscope. From the snake-like hunting behavior of marine ciliates to the methodical absorption techniques of heliozoans, we'll explore a world where survival means outsmarting, outmaneuvering, and ingesting your competition. And you know what? I couldn't pick a winner. At the end of our countdown, you'll get to decide which of our two finalists deserves the crown for the most brutal micro meal in the Thai microcosmos. Now, let's get to it. At number seven in our countdown is the marine ciliate Trachylocerca. These long, slender, single-cell organisms weave their way through their environment, seeking out any signal that prey is nearby. Trachylocercids feed on diatoms, bacteria, and other small organisms, playing a key role in the microbial food web. This one seems to be wrestling with its meal. And just a reminder, every meal you'll see today is a single cell. No brain, no nervous system, no experience of pain. They're more like skin cells than any animal we know. But in the microcosmos, every single cell fights for survival. After attacking from a different angle, the Trachylocerca manages to get a firm hold and slowly drags the prey inward. Like a snake, it swallows its food whole. Digestion begins, and the predator ends up looking a little lumpy for its efforts. A small price to pay for dinner. Coming in at number six is Actinosferium. This single-cell organism, a heliozoan, is a silent hunter. It stays in one location and waits for other organisms to come into contact with it. Stiff axopodia radiate from the cell like rays from the sun. Organisms which are trapped by these sticky axopodia are then moved into the cell, a process called phagocytosis, where they are slowly digested. This captured paratrixiliate has no way to escape, already encased in a food vacuole and being transported toward the heliozoan's interior. Finally, all movement of the captured ciliate ceases as it reaches its inevitable end. At number five is the ciliate coleps. Coleps are perhaps the most voracious eaters in the microcosmos. As seen here, they often feed on already dead cellular material found in their environment. They have the strength to tear open cell walls before ingesting cellular material inside. Where you find one collapse feeding, you will likely find others, as they devour their prey like a pack of hyenas. Number four on our list is the most beautiful hunter in today's countdown. Colotheca is a rotifer, a microscopic animal made up of about 1,000 cells. Colotheca attaches with its foot to roots or other substrates in their environment. But instead of passively waiting for food to accidentally find it, it extends beautiful long hair-like cilia from its multi-lobed corona. These cilia extend well out from the rotifer's body, subtly vibrating to attract and sweep numerous microorganisms, such as small algae or photosynthetic euglenoids, into its mouth, where jaw-like trophy quickly snap them into its body. Colotheca isn't discriminating, it will eat pretty much anything small enough to fit inside. Here, a photosynthetic facus has been lured in, and like that, it has become just another meal for the Colotheca. Asanita comes in at number three. This single-cell sectorian is sessile. It attaches to something in its environment and passively waits for prey to run into it. Tentacles extend outward able to extend and contract with a spring-like mechanism to help it grab hold of prey. Cells coming into contact with these tentacles are immobilized, and their cellular contents are literally sucked out by these tentacles and fed into the acinita. Here you can see various microorganisms that have become ensnared and are slowly being drained of their life energy. Number two is a pretty brutal meal. Say hi to the single-cell, stalked ciliate, Epistylus. Epistylus attaches itself to roots and other material with a rigid, non-contractile stalk. The stalk often branches, 
providing structurally stable support for epistylus colonies. But as you'll see, this rigid stalk can also lead to its undoing. Here, a single cell ciliate, Amphileptus, has latched onto an epistylus. The Amphileptus is doing its best to tear through the cell wall of the epistylus and reach a bonanza of cellular material inside. The rigid stalk prevents epistylus from retracting, leaving it completely vulnerable to this attack. A second Amphileptus joins, and soon a third, larger Amphileptus arrives to deliver the coup de grace. Watch as it consumes the cytoplasm of the unfortunate epistylus. A second epistylus is safe for only a few more minutes before another Amphileptus arrives to feast on it. The Amphileptus leaves with a full belly, leaving the crumbs for some scavenger euglenoid flagellates who decide they prefer a takeaway meal. We've made it to number one, but I have two contenders that are both deserving of the title. First, we see a harmless photosynthetic euglenoid minding its own business. Without warning, a rotifer appears from above, grabs the euglenoid, and begins violently sucking out its cytoplasm. We can only watch as the rotifer slurps out everything it can. The rotifer defecates to make room for even more. And just when it appears that the rotifer is mercifully finished, it grabs the other side of the euglenoid, leaving nothing but an empty husk. Our other finalist, what you're about to see is the only such footage ever captured. This is the ciliate Lacrimaria, perhaps the most feared hunter in the microcosmos. Able to stretch its neck up to 30 times the length of its body, it can remain mostly protected amongst material in the environment while it reaches out in search of prey. When it attacks, it strikes quickly, stunning its prey, then enveloping it with its oral opening. It's able to consume organisms seemingly too large to swallow, such as this Euplodes, a freshwater single-cell ciliate. Watch as it tears this cell in half before consuming it. But what happens next is the most surprising thing I've witnessed through the microscope. This lacrimaria, on a routine hunt for a meal, is viciously attacked by a larger lacrimaria, which severs its body at the neck with the force of its strike. The larger lacrimaria then swallows the entire torso whole in the first ever act of lacrimaria cannibalism captured on video. So which of our finalists deserves the title of most brutal micro meal 2025? The rotifer sucking the life out of a euglenoid or the cannibalistic lacrimaria? Leave your vote in the comments. Thanks for joining us on today's look inside the microcosmos. We hope you'll consider subscribing to our channel so you won't miss our next adventure.